you think is common between creating models of nerve cell functioning, studying human behavior in complex decision making situations, devising queuing systems at an airport or the telephone exchange and performing mind reading tricks on stage. It's algebra. Algebra or algebraic thinking is one of the most powerful mathematical tools that can help us make predictions, generalizations and take decisions in life. So that's why it's so important that the correct aspects of algebra are stressed in the early stages of algebra education so that algebra can truly empower the kids later on in life. If we know that 5x plus 5y is equal to 93, we can find the numerical value of a x plus y b x minus y c x or d the equation is wrong 5x plus 5y can never be 93 at the moment uh, you cannot add this number at all uh, it is totally indeterminable so uh, if you want the number to be put i would say it's infinite infinity why Sir, because uh, as a rule, x and y can never be added because x is different and y is different. But if it is, but it is of the same type, you can multiply, you can add. Yes. Sir, they are x. Uh, suppose y is also x and x is uh, suppose y is x. Okay, so you mean to say x plus x? Yeah, x plus yes. x. So what will be x plus x? x will be two x. Two x. So x plus y you can't add. No, x plus y won't be. The equation may be correct when it uh, 5x plus 5x or it may be 5y plus 5y. Then it can yes, be You are also saying that can't be x and y together in any equation. Because you can't add unless you have the yeah. same variables. Uh, uh, like you can add. You can add only in case if it is 5x plus 5x or 5y plus 5y, but not with different variables cannot be added. You cannot add 5x and 5y because they are different. X and y, they are different okay, variables. So why can't you add 5x and 5y? The reason, I have no idea, but we had learnt it like that. Because you have learnt it like that. Mm, yeah, because you can't add two separate variables, it has to be the same. Students seem to be following a procedure without really understanding the concept. Students are used to solving equations like 5x plus 10 is equal to 20 or 4x plus 3x is equal to 28. They solve such equations in a very procedural manner. For example, 5x plus 10 is equal to 20. So 5x is equal to 20 minus 10 and so on. And therefore it may seem that students are able to solve such equations. The question is 5x plus 5y. So any th any num any numerical value is multiplied by y. The answer will either come in 5 or in 0. So the answer uh, so 5x plus 5y would be either z will be ending with 0 or with 5. So so uh, the answer cannot can never be 93 because anything multiplied by 5 does not give us uh, 3. Right now, five is uh, x and y are representing a uh, num. I mean, two different numbers, and five x plus five five can never be ninety three because of that. Uh, all the multiples of five end with zero or five, so they will always the number will always the product will always add as uh, the last digit will be zero or five. The equation which says that five x plus five y is equal to ninety three, that equation is wrong. Why? Because if you multiply any number with 5, you, you'll get the answer either in 5 or 0. And as the last digit in this 3, you can't get the answer. No, but why do you think x and y uh, have to be a whole number? 
No, it can be in decimals also. X plus Y, the answer has to come in decimals. No, no. So if I allow X and Y to be decimals, decimal numbers, then do you think you can get 93? No. So you'll still get a number ending in 0 or 5? Yeah. Okay. So we ask another question. If we know that 5x plus 5y is equal to 90, we can find the numerical value of a x plus y b x minus y c x or d the equation is wrong 5x plus 5y can never be 90. x and y are different variables uh, even if it, it, it yeah, 5 plus 5 cannot be 90 even if it was a 5x plus 5x it can be 10x not 90 so I think that uh, the equation is wrong ok so you said even if it was 5x plus 5x it could have been 10x not 90 it cannot be 90 ok a lot of students said that x and y cannot be added why did they say that? did they mean that x plus y is not defined? Or did they mean that x plus y cannot be reduced further, the way x plus 2x can be? See, I have the, uh, see, I have taken the problem 5x plus 5y is equal to 93. And now when I transpose 5 to the other side, x remains and it becomes 93 divided by 5. And then uh, the next, uh, next step I also do the same thing. I transpose 5 to the other side and it becomes into 1 by 5. And then I do some uh, uh, division and then I find the answer. X plus Y is equal to 3.75. Uh, 5 and 5 are moved to this side. So it will become minus 10. Uh, so it will become 93 minus 10 which is equal to 83. And X plus Y is equal to 83. We cannot find the exact value, but I think xy would be 83. What does yes. xy mean? xy are two variables which... Uh, so what is the difference between x plus y and xy? x plus y are two different uh, terms altogether, whereas xy are together one term, I think. don't have a fixed value. Okay, what are x and y? It's a letter. It's a letter. What is it? Represent. Consonants. Consonants. What are consonants? They are the alphabets which represent some number which is hidden hidden behind them. Variables is something which represents a fixed value or a number. It could be any number. X and Y have it's values over here, but we don't know the It value. represents something, but we have no idea. It has been substituted by x and y. Can they have only one value or can they have more than one value in this type? 5x plus x, like, it can have only one value, one let like one value. Basically, a variable is an unknown number that is in an equation. So, um, that means that like, x and y's value <laughs> can change and it can remain fixed. Yes. forms of these expressions very well but often without understanding the real meaning. According to research this could happen if there is a tendency to stress too much on calculation processes in the classroom rather than the relational or structural aspects of algebra. It can make students passively accept rules and formulae without having any control over what these rules really convey. Yeah, 
Uh, if you want to find x plus, before I was used to say that the 5x plus 5y cannot be 93, but now if it's a decimal number, then you can find. If you divide this whole equation, 5x plus 5y by 5, then you can divide 93 also by 5. Okay. So you get x plus 5, I and mean x plus y, sorry. 93 divided by 5 will give us uh, 18.6. Okay. So x plus y will be 18.6. So then what do you think is the answer to this question? A. A. Okay. Some over the last uh, few minutes was that students have certain mental models, ways of thinking about the world, certain ideas and clearly these ideas are uh, not uh, what we intended to pass on to them as teachers or interested adults. These are ideas children have uh, found by actively trying to make sense of what they are seeing around them or what has been taught. Uh, what is uh, however important to understand here is that uh, the instinctual reaction of adults or teachers when they see uh, these kind of responses is to say that, let me explain this again, let me explain this more clearly, uh, two times if not thrice, uh, this is bound to fail. So what we find is that it's extremely important for a teacher to listen first, find out what is already on the child's mind, to then help the child to review the correctness of this idea, weigh it against other ways of thinking, other mental models to really be able to say that no, this didn't work and this is a better way of looking at things. And our hope is that teachers start doing this based on seeing films like this. You have seen just one concept but there are several such ideas across class levels, across topics and this is our hope that teachers will become active listeners and we will have a chance to teach our children better. <laughs>